how to customize checkout page in Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can customize your Shopify page. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on customize, right? Uh, it's going to open it up right here. Let me open it up in another tab. There we go. So this is the store right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click over here at the top bar and we're going to come down over here. And we're going to click on checkout, right? This is going to open up the checkout page right here, which we have right here, as you can see. So it says right here, you can't edit using these sections. All right. So to customize it, go to theme settings, all right, which is right here. We click on theme settings and we scroll down and we have checkout option right here. We click on checkout and we get a bunch of different options that we can see right here. So let's go ahead and start you know editing it out so first things first we can add a background image if we want so let's go ahead and select the background image let's see if we can edit this All right it's going to add a background image over here but we can also go to free images and we can pick out some of these images that are available right here let's go to staff favorites and pick out a staff favorite image that we can find so if you scroll down here we get a bunch of different images but i don't really like all of them so Let's try to find something that's similar to a checkout page, right? Maybe we can find some image where someone's giving it the money to a another person or a cashier or just buying an outfit or something like that or a credit card type of image. So let's see if we can find it. Or what we could do is we could go back over here and go into shop local. Yes, right here. Okay, so we can find do some images over here. So something like this, right? I think this would look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and select this image Let's see if it pops up at the top let's go ahead and select there we go now we do want to select the focal point right okay so this is should be the focal point let's see wait for a couple of seconds yeah i think that looks okay we don't really see anything so let's go ahead and change it let's go back into shop local or local shop whatever we're gonna call it okay here we go we have some more options right here so free shipping we could go with that a message at the top okay we could select some of these this would look good yeah this would look good sale so we'll just select that there we go i think that looks much better although it's a little bit unclear but that's because we have a thousand our uh you know pixel setting is off a little bit we could even increase the logo size over here as well if we want to we'll go with the small it depends on you we can position it to the left or the right we can even select the background image over here this is going to be the main content area what does that mean which this is the image right here we could actually go ahead and select an image right here and maybe we could get like a background image or something shopping and sale i think these types of images would look good right here so something like this yes this looks actually really nice with the background plus it highlights all the text that we have as well we could go with something like this or we could go with a completely different image like this one has a little bit more texture to it but yeah or we could go with this one just find something that complements the background as well like shopify doesn't give you a whole bunch of customization options so keep that in mind uh, you could change some of the text elements as well but for that you would have to go to the settings which i will show you in a little bit all right now we have the typography right we could even set the background image as well what would this be this would be this image right here uh, it depends on you you could upload just a simple color palette if you want to it depends on you but i'm just showing you that you know these are some of the things that you could do i mean it does not look good at all but you know yeah we'll actually keep it like it was you know the default one we don't actually need it i think that, that i think that looks good we could even change the color as well like you know something like this it depends on you or with a little bit of pinkish color you know like something like here it's a little bit darker like that yeah we could actually go with that and what we could do is we could actually just give everyone this exact same background you know what i mean we'll just remove the image there you go i think that looks good and at the top as well can we go no we cannot do that at the top but yeah it looks really good then we have the buttons right and the headings and the typography so we could change some of the fonts right here you know give it a little bit of more bolder color if we want oswald is always good yeah see 
and for the system we could go with a lotto color a uh, lotto text yeah i think that looks much better and error if there's an error there would be a red message right and the buttons and accents they're a little bit bluish color maybe we could change that to a different color that you know complements it like a grayish type color let's see it depends on us we could go with a completely different color like that or this a little bit darker i would say yeah something oh, that's a little bit more but there we go that's much better could copy that code and paste it right here as well much better so these are some of the things that we could do and if you want to change the checkout settings we'd have to go to the admin we'll have to visit the admin we'll click over here on the admin before we do that let me just save it right here and now we go into the admin and here we go we have the checkout style all right we can upload logos change color fonts and more and we have the customer methods and all of that customer info we could add some of these types of options and it depends on you like you know shipping addresses and phone numbers uh don't include or optional uh, address line two it is recommended to have that i think we would leave it as it is but if you want to add a specific like you know specific options then you can over here so let's go ahead and click on customize checkout to have more customization options sorry about that we actually don't need to come over here because it just redirects us back there what we could need to do is actually we need to go into scroll down to languages right and over here you have your default language which is called english right here you could click on change default right we already have that it's already set there and uh, okay i think they actually changed that first we could go into there and we could actually change some of the things let me actually see if we can find it right here okay sorry about that so we actually can't do that at first they, what we would do is we would go into the main settings and change some of the text that we can find over here in the checkout section right like we could change this and this we could change the button over here and you know call it something else but i think now we can't so i guess those are all the things that you could actually do you know if you come over here and just you know only these things you could change the background color and stuff like that but you can't change anything else unfortunately but yeah so pretty simple i guess those are all the things that you could do you could add the background image you could change the fonts you can add the background colors uh, add like different images and those are all the things that you could do in the checkout section so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and we'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye